How to use Umbraco for beginners. Now this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, including how Umbraco works, how you can use this tool and all of the features. So if you are interested in learning how Umbraco works, then keep watching as this is going to be one of the most valuable videos you ever watch. Okay, so as you can see, we are right here on Umbraco. And if you guys don't know what Umbraco is, it is a content management software. So if we start out right here, this is the main Umbraco dashboard. They just give you a little welcome message here. And then we can, of course, go to workspaces. So we have the local workspace or we have a live workspace. Now, local is just going to be on your computer only. And uh, live is going to be on the internet, which is what I recommend you to do. And you can effectively flick back between these as much as you like. So we are going to stick with the live workspace for now. And uh, as we can see, let's go to the media section. Of course, this is going to be very, very important as this is the as this is a content management software. So all I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm just going to drag in one of my previous videos right here and you can see that this is uploading. So you want to upload into the media section any media or any content that you wish to use or you wish to manage with Umbraco. So let's just give that a few seconds to go ahead and load in. Okay, so as you can see, this video has now uploaded right here. Now we can go and enter a name. So we'll just call this Pico workers just like that and we can see that this video is now in and we are going to have this video in the content management section in media if we just go ahead and hit save down here that is now saved in the media section and we can continue on to these other areas so we have settings right here so it tells us a little bit about settings so this section contains the building blocks for your umbraco site follow the links below to find out how to find out more about working with the items in the section settings so what we can do is we can go to examine management right here manage examined indexes we can go to published status and we have things like published cash status and all of this good stuff model builder a health check so the health checker evaluates various areas of your website for the best practice settings configurations and potential problems so if we just go check all groups right here we can see that immediately a few things are wrong so it tells us exactly what is wrong right here. So it looks like the indexes on these tables. Uh, let's do that again. We can see that for all of these other areas, it's going to tell us a notification email is still set to the default value. So we need to change that. Very, very important. And you want to make sure all of these health check settings are ticked. Now I'm going to go over to forms right here and show you how to create a form. So if we go and create a form right here and we will just call this subscribe and then we have an untitled page right here. So let's just call this page one. And then we have consent for storing data submitted. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this question real quick and we can add our own question. And this is going to say, are you subscribe? And then to choose the answer, we are going. We can choose either a short answer, long answer, or any of these. So multiple choice, and then we are going to add the answers in here. So yes, no, and uh, definitely, just like that. And we can add all of these. We can enter a default value if you would wish to choose one. So of course, this is going to be yes. Uh, show label, so we are going to leave this on. Is this field mandatory, and do you want to enable any other conditions? So we'll just leave that off for now and then we can see right here guys we have these three options for are you subscribed we can also add another group or add another page now we can add to this so we can add a new group add a question and this one is going to be uh, what is your name we are just going to enter in a short answer and we are not going to enter a default value but we are going to enter a placeholder which is enter your name make sure this is a mandatory right here maximum length we are going to leave off and that looks good to me now we can also rearrange these by clicking reorder and then swapping these around and then maybe what we are going to do is add another field and just ask them for their email address so let's go here and another short answer what is your email address just like that uh, enter in there once again we are going to make this mandatory and submit and then as you can see right here guys we have this first questionnaire or this first form as they call it we can click on save right here and then we can see the form is saved and this is now saved under the form of subscribe we can see exactly how many entries or how many people have entered up here and that is how you can use the forms another very very important section is this users section right here 
And this is what you can do to basically invite users to your Umbraco team, collate like a team together on Umbraco, and all we need to do to invite users or invite team members is click invite user. In here we are going to enter their name, Sam, enter their email, and then we can add user to a group. And each of these groups is going to basically have a different amount of per uh, permissions. So we have administrators, which basically have everything, editors, sensitive data, translators, and writers. Let's add this person as a writer and then send invite. Uh, we will just say hello, just like that. Send invite. And then as you can see guys, Sam has been invited. And this is basically going to send them an email right here. And once they click that link, sign into their account or create an account I should say, they will then be part of your Umbraco team and they will be able to help you in your content management. So that is users, then we can move on to packages right here. And uh, I, I really think this uh, section should be labeled integrations. And uh, this is basically where you can integrate other softwares with your Umbraco account. So we have things like Zapier right here, and we can go ahead into Zapier and we can add this add-on. So all we need to do is add the .NET package and add this code right here. So this is the packages. And we can do this for basically any software that is shown here. We have seven different pages of softwares. Uh, so maybe we want to use do, 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 usync right here. And then for the install instructions, it says .NET add package usync. So that is all we need to do to link that package right there. Now, once you have some packages installed, you can come over to the install section and it shows you all of your packages or integrations right here. And you can also create your own. Finally, how you can edit your profile right here. So if we go into edit, we are set to an administrator. We can also go down and add us to all of these other sections. I would highly recommend doing that if you want full control. But guys, that is basically a quick overview into how you can use Umbraco. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.